So now we're going to look into a, a simple formulation of Schrodinger's equation, and that's within the context of uh, section four of elements of quantum mechanics. And uh, where we start is um, writing down Dirac's equation for an electron and expanding that Dirac equation, uh, the root uh, of that Dirac equation by a Taylor expansion and stopping at the first element of that Taylor expansion. So we expand, um, uh, we pull out M, M0 C squared out of the root and expand 1 plus PC squared uh, C squared over M0 squared C4 uh, uh, in a Taylor expansion. And if we do that and throw a, away the first term, or the, the, the last terms here at the end, we can bring this term here around to the other side and we add, add a potential here, um, potential energy. So if we do that and identify for an electron its energy minus its rest energy as um, a, a particle wave energy, we can equate that to a potential and some kinetic energy related to a momentum. All right, so it's a, a little bit of black magic, so pushing symbols around. At the end, you have an, an equation that is the, the wave energy here as h bar squared k squared over 2m plus some potential energy. Now, if you take that one and assume by ansatz a uh, that the wave is a um, plane wave. It has a, a time dependence and a momentum dependence, and it uh, obeys a, a wave expression. You can plug uh, or calculate um, out of that assumption a time dependence and a momentum dependence, a spatial, second spatial dependence, and uh, identify terms as i omega psi and minus k square psi in this expression up here. And if you do that, you end up having an expression that i h bar d psi d, uh, dt has a spatial dependent, a wave-like dependent of the second derivative of the uh, psi um, and uh, potential energy as well. So that's a very hand-waving, not a derivation of Schrodinger's equation. That is the time-dependent, spatially-dependent Schrodinger equation. All right. So with that, we'll end up the elements of quantum mechanics. And certainly we didn't do justice to quantum mechanics. You can take full courses on quantum mechanics. But these elements of quantum mechanics are going to be good enough for us to uh, examine uh, properties of solids and relate them to real devices. And that's what we're going to get to in the next sections. So thank you very much. I'll see you in section five.